is making patches for lone soldiers. Okay. People who are here without parents, without family many times. Um, it's just an extra treat that makes their day, makes their week, their month even sometimes. And to see that someone cares about them, to get those sweet things that, you know, usually family try to send here and know, a girlfriend, things like that, you know, and they don't get it. So, um, it's just, it brightens up their day. A little louder. I'm Noah Lebanon. Okay. I made Aliyah four and a half years ago. I grew up in Indiana. And you? I am Tali Beko. Um, also Aliyah uh, almost five years ago. I grew up in New Zealand and Canada. Oh. I went straight into Galim Sabao. Uh, originally I was only coming for a year or two and I figured I might as well do army service if I were coming for a year or two. So I joined um, the program, and then Talia also did. Okay, Talia, how did you make it? I joined the program when I was already in Israel. I made it by myself. Okay. I joined the program, met Noah and countless other people. Join the army. <laughs> um, and how did you how did you hear about the Merkaz? I mean, you heard about this. <laughs> We got the packages. Yes. I still actually have one of the. I still actually have my thermos. Me too. <laughs> really? That's so great. So how long ago? How long ago did you start getting packages? And how long? Were, you know, tell us a little bit about your army experience. I went into Kishinev Holtz. Um, they have a foreign relations division, as we called them. And uh, I went to officers' course pretty quickly. Um, I remember actually my first package I got at officers' course. That was pretty exciting. Okay. Um, do you remember what was in it? Uh, I remember that there was a lot of chocolate that I could eat because I was lactose intolerant. <laughs> but I could share it and that made me very popular. Oh, nice. You didn't need chocolate to get yeah, popular. Uh, it wasn't what the accent. Um, I was in the same unit, also okay. in Toxus training, the like, couple months after Noah did. Um, first package, I remember, I think it was on base actually before officers training. You both did officers training? Yeah. We're both officers. And how was your army experience like overall? Long. <laughs> but I think I think it was interesting as far as army experience. You hear a lot about people's various army experience and the routine. And I think that being officers in the foreign relations division gave us a lot more variety in our different ways. Did you feel different being from another country and having made Aliyah things. Yeah. yeah, can you talk a little bit about that? Uh, well, also I made Aliyah after my after my BA, so I was also four years, five years older than everyone. So that was also a little odd. Um, but I, in our unit, I think people were very friendly and open. Most of them spoke very good English. It's Most of the people from our unit were actually from abroad. A lot of them. So that made it a lot easier. We were, in the sense, like everybody else, sort of. Oh yeah, a lot of my friends have been getting that. Yeah. And I know that it's just, it, they get it, it's like, they smile, you know? They either get it to base, and they're like, hey, it's not just the Israeli service who get a package, you know? Uh -huh. Or they get it to home when they come back after two, three weeks of being on base, you know, which is the uh, They come back home and there's a package waiting for them, and then it's just the Um, I think it's really important because as soldiers, we got packages, obviously, from here, and we couldn't get packages like everybody else from our parents because of security issues straight to the base. So like, we understand the importance and how nice it is to get a package. And it really does put a smile on your face when you're like, after two weeks on base, you haven't seen anybody from home, and then you suddenly get this box from people that you have no idea who they are. At the time, I didn't even know what the Mercos was. So it was just really nice like just to get something. And, also, a lot of them had notes from little kids in America, which I thought was super cute. <laughs> Congratulations for being a scientist. Um, and that's nice when you get here and people sometimes ask you why on earth you came yeah. and what you're doing here and what you're possibly thinking right. of volunteering for the army. Oh, yeah. and, right. Uh, so I think it's really nice to, like, I think that aspect of the package is really special. So, like, maybe a really great project to help people.